Hi, my name is Jamie with Love My Tech. Each week I answer your questions and post tutorial and review videos here. The goal of this channel is to provide you with tips and tricks to save time, money, and avoid frustration. Whether you're in the Apple ecosystem or using Amazon Fire Stick, this video is for you. Timestamps are below if you want to skip them. Maybe this scene looks familiar. You have no clue where you subscribe to Cinemax, Stars, HBO, Showtime, Hulu, Discover, Paramount. Make sure you pause or rewind the video at any point so you can follow along. First, let's jump into the Apple ecosystem. Grab your phone, hit settings, which is the little gear icon. Next, we're going to hit the picture at the top, which has your name, then subscriptions. And once you hit subscriptions, it will take just a moment to bring those subscriptions up. Be patient. You can see that the subscriptions are being pulled up by the little spinning wheel there to the right of the subscription. That's how you know it's working. Next up, you want to make sure renewal is turned on. If it's turned on, it will be green. Then we can scroll down and see our active subscriptions. You can see I have Hulu, Apple Care, Day One, Drafts, Music, and Microsoft Office. These are what I currently use. These are kind of been through the paces. You also could see at the bottom of the screen some of the expired subscriptions. Next, we're going to go back up to that left hand corner and click Apple. I we're going to go back into Media Purchases and click on View Account. Again, this will take a little bit of time as it's retrieving it from the system. This is a pro tip because by knowing where this information is, you'll be able to see exactly what you're paying. It will ask you for face ID or fingerprints. Look at managing the payments. You can change your credit card there. We can also add money here. But what we want to look at today are subscriptions and purchase history. This is going to show us the information that we had before. And again, you can see that nice little spinning circle there that lets us know that it's working. This is the exact screen we got before. But what makes this difference, if we go back one screen by hitting the upper left hand corner, it will show us our purchase history. And at the top, it defaults to the last 90 days. And this shows you how much you're paying when it renewed. This is a really good place to see how much money you're paying. And again, one thing I want to warn about is many times you may get a free app online. The trial ends and you didn't make a note to go back and cancel that subscription. So that's what you want to make sure that you do each and every time. Next up is Amazon and they make it tricky. Sign into your Amazon account. Go to hello account and list at the top right corner. Once you click on that, scroll all the way down to the very bottom of that page. And on that lower right hand side, you'll see other subscriptions. Click on that. And here you will see all of your current subscriptions, what you're paying, how much you can see. I have Amazon Prime, Audible Plus, Discovery Plus. I have my Blink membership through this. And you know, sometimes it's hard to remember what all you have and where you have it. Once you find this information, I would write it down. And ways to turn off your automatic renewals, which I recommend during the summer, most of the time, you can cut back on a lot of your subscriptions. By cutting those off, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. You can always restart them. Way to go. Way to save some cash. Would advise putting this on your calendar. Check it every 30 days and see how much money you can save. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that little bell so you can be notified about future videos. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.